Hi, my name is Dr. Alon Orlev. I'm a neurosurgeon. And in this video, it's called Rhinology for Neurosurgeons 2. I'm uh, going to continue the approaches uh, through the nose, the endoscopic and the nasal approaches to the skull base. We're going to continue the anatomic approach, and we're going to be opening the cella, uh, drilling the cellar floor all the way to the clival recess. We'll be exposing the clival carotids. We'll be exposing the anterior wall of the cavernous sinus and the ICA genu. We'll do an optic canal decompression. We're going to finally do a transterigo palatine fossa and transterigoid approach to the lacerum ICA. All that in the in the cadaver. This is a pre-cellar sphenoid, as we can see, which means that um, we can't actually see the the cellar floor. We can only see the face of the of the cella, and uh, therefore we are going to start by recreating the cellar floor by uh, drilling the clival recess and slowly drilling posteriorly until we um, get to dura all the way uh, posteriorly of the clivus, and we're going to have dura above us also of the cellar floor. We drill using cutting burrs and diamond burrs. And we're going to start out by um, drilling the floor itself and also the intersinus septum, which, as we can see here, is uh, going towards the left carotid. So we're a essentially recreating the entire cellar cavity uh, by slowly drilling um, the septums that we have and also the floor and here we can see that I'm recreating the floor um, down to the cortical bone So essentially we recreated the cellar as we can see here and we can do a little anatomic tour of the entire cellar cavity. So we can see um, the face of the cellar and the floor of the cellar going back to the clival recess. We can see the ICA bilaterally, which is the hissin. On the left side, we can see the optic nerve. On the right side above, we'll be able to see the optic nerve as well above the ICA and as we go down we can appreciate the clivus that has been drilled down the cellar floor and the paraclival ICAs which will be on both sides of the clivus we're going to now open the cellar and expose the dura we do that using a mixture of nerve hooks ball tips and kerosens. We try to dissect the epidural plane and we can insert them of course after we eggshell the bone using uh, the drill. So we slowly dissect now the epidural plane and then we'll start biting it with the kerosene in order to completely expose it, hopefully not opening into the door. So we try and start opening the cella and exposing the dura at the inferior part of uh, the cellar, the face of the cella, and we go laterally 
towards the safer zones where the carotid is uh, dives in between the paraclival and the anterior genu when it's actually inside the cavernous sinus that's when it's far as from the surface and those are the safer areas to to open up first and then work superiorly in this case we things are a little easier in terms of finding the carotid because of the it's the hissant on on both sides so we can actually see it sticking out at us but commonly it will be covered by bone and we will not see um, the anterior genu as well as we do here you can see me dissecting the epidural plane slowly as I uh, create it and then by the way using the kerosene bite the, the eggshell bone away in order to completely expose the cell So we may ex uh, find thicker bone as we go more laterally and um, and that we can either take by kerosene or if it um, is too stiff and we don't have a good epidural plane we will commonly drill here a little more using a, a diamond drill in order to thin it down and eggshell it and then it's safer to to open it and we will do the same thing as we go superiorly towards the uh, carotid and inferiorly towards the paraclival carotid. We normally eggshell and then break it using the kerosene. So we have now basically completed opening the entire cellar floor. You, know, you can see I'm taking the final bites now. And superiorly, we can see the superior intercavernous sinus. Laterally, we see the cavernous sinuses, which are blue. So we're now going to expose the uh, anterior genu and we're going to do an optical canal decompression so the epidural plane is again carefully dissected and the eggshell bone is out fractured that has to be done obviously very carefully as we uh, work over the genu of the ICA and um, and the optics So we see uh, the ophthalmic artery that is just superior to the uh, genu of the ICA and it goes into the optic canal. We're expected to see that on the um, medial inferior side of the optic nerve. So we slowly dissect that as we unroof the genu and the optic nerve. As we work our way superiorly towards the optic nerve, we encounter the medial, medial OCR and the lateral OCR, which are thicker bones, and the, those often need to be drilled with a very fine drill. We now see the cellar cavity. We see uh, the left side that 
is still intact or has bone over it and while on the right side we completely unroofed the genu the ophthalmic artery the optic canal we see that the lateral OCR has um, air cells in it and that coincides with the optic strut as we know and when we look down we can see the cavernous sinus wall anterior wall and the paraclival carotid and their lateral recess of the sphenoid sinus which still has bone in it so we're now doing a transmaxillary transterigo palatine approach we're starting off by dissecting the mucosa of the posterior maxillary wall as we expose the, the wall behind it is the terigo palatine fossa we now we now dissect the wall um, and the mucosa of the terigo palatine fossa and we're going to be removing that posterior maxillary wall um, before doing that we've already of course taken the septal branch of the sphenopalatine artery um, which has to be sacrificed on the ipsilateral side now you see me uh, removing the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus, the medial side of it, trying not to get into the mucosa of the pterygopalatine fossa. Um, and we remember that the medial side of the pterygopalatine fossa has the greater uh, palatine nerve and uh, an artery that run inferiorly. And we have to be cognizant of that. We will now drill the lateral sphenoid recess. Its posterior wall is overlaying the paraclival carotid and you see me slowly eggshelling that bone using the diamond drill. I'm also taking down the bony spurs as I slowly take the wall down. So now we're going to start drilling the vidian canal. So once we expose the pterygopalatine fossa, we actually find the vidian nerve and we can slowly start drilling along the vidian canal, the medial side of it, um, all the way posteriorly towards the um, paraclival carotid and the vidian nerve itself will take us to the lacerum segment um, of the carotid. And we commonly can drill the medial and inferior side of the, uh, of the vidian canal knowing that in most cases and that's something that we have to follow uh, or look at the pre-op films the ICA or the lacerum segment of the ICA will be lateral and superior to the vidian nerve so that's our landmark as we drill posteriorly in order to get to the lacerum segment and expose that as you can see here I'm slowly drilling with a diamond drill exposing the entire vidian canal from the pterygopalatine fossa posteriorly towards the lacerum ICA. So you can see that as I expose the Vidian canal and I understand where the paraclival carotid is, I slowly drill that down in order to completely eggshell the paraclival carotid, which I'm going to remove the bone off in, in order to expose that completely. And that we do if we need to go laterally. So now after eggshelling it using kerosin, I carefully resect the remainder of the bone in order to completely unroof the, para, the paraclival ICA. So now I'm going to drill the last bit, which is um, the floor, the lateral side of the floor of the cella, which coincides with the dorsum cella or the posterior clinoid. And I remove that through the floor. 
and I continue drilling the inferior paraclival ICA in order to completely expose it all the way from the lacerum segment. So this is the final shot and we can actually see the entire paraclival carotid exposed, the anterior genuine exposed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to all.